So today I would like to share a Vue.js plugin called ViewClip, which can help you upload files to your server. Now the reason I wrote this plugin is because the existing solutions are not really good, and if there are any, they come with a lot of HTML boilerplate, which kind of mess around with my DOM elements. Uh, opposite to that, ViewClip is kind of uh, comes comes up with a very bare bone API, and hardly try to modify your DOM elements. So out here, I have a very basic Vue.js app, and very first, we'll start by installing the Vue clip from npm. Yep, it has been installed. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to import out here. So Vue clip from Vue clip, and make Vue actually use this plugin. So Vue.use Vue clip. Now, as soon as Vue is making use of this uh, plugin, we can use a component called Vue-clip. So uh, I'll come to the app component. I'll get rid of everything out here. Okay, and out here we'll say Vue clip uh, like this and pass it in options. So I'll say options bind it to an options data property and we basically need to define the data property out here so that's a function return an object which needs to have our options object and the very uh, bare bone requirement is to have a url where exactly we want to upload our files okay once that done i'll say npm run dev uh close this tab and for sure we don't have any errors now, actually, we we don't see out here. As I said, Vue Clip does not insert anything to your DOM, and actually give you the flexibility to structure your DOM uh, as per your needs. Now, in order to uh, show a place or an area where someone can drag drop files or someone can click to upload files, we need to make use of slots. So I'll say template slot clip uploader action that's the slot name and out here we can have our um, DOM elements so I'll say uploader action with a div class DC message and the message that we want to write so I'll say drop uh, drag and drop files here or browse okay if you come back for sure we do see this message and if I click on it, uh, it will basically open the file explorer so that I can select files. So if I select this file, uh, nothing shows up out here, but it do make a network request. Now, again, as I said, uh, ViewClip itself does not mess with your DOM, which means we need to access these files manually. So uh, slot will be clip uploader body, uh, which gets a scope as well so that we can access the files uh, out here uh, the class uploader files with child dev call uploader file and we can basically loop over our files object so uh, file in props dot file and we want to show the file name that's the most basic thing come back do a refresh select the file uh, slot is uh, Clip uploader body, yep, uploader files. It needs to be files out here. Okay, we do see unicorn.jpg out here. And if we select a different one, yep, we do see that one as well. And uh, if you want, we can show the uh, avatar. So I'll say file avatar and basically bind to the source. So we'll say bind source file dot data url which is basically a base 64 encoded so that you can show the preview of uh, each uploaded file and if file is not an image it will be an empty string so you won't have to worry about any conditionals and on that stuff like uh, an ai file uh, we cannot have a preview for it so the data url property is it is an empty string so next thing I'm going to do is I'm basically going to sprinkle some CSS over it so that we have a pretty design out here. Okay, with our CSS in place, things look a little pretty. So out here we can click, uh, we can select files out here, and it will basically show the avatar with the name of the file. 
Now, what I've really done is I basically pasted up CSS out here, uh, give a class to our actual component called uploader, and we just need to take care of a couple of things. So the very first one will be the file name. And out here, we need to show the progress bar. Uh, let's put it inside a div called file details. This will be file name. And now we can also show a progress bar. So I'm going to say file progress with this pan called progress indicator. And we can bind its width to the file.progress uh, attribute. So we bind style uh, that will be width to file.progress uh, percentage. Okay. And finally, we can have uh, div class file meta. That's basically the metadata like file size and all that stuff. So file size, file dot size. And for file status, we'll say file status, file dot status. Okay. So let's refresh, click here. And upload the file we see 100% progress that's really quick uh, with the file bytes and error out here next thing what we can do is we can say v else and out here we'll say only show the progress bar if uh, file is under processing like it having errored out or uh, the upload was not successful so file is not equal to error and file the status is not equal to success come back yep we don't see the progress bar anymore and yeah so for now whenever we upload files they basically uh, hit this 404 thing because we don't have any server running uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna run uh, it on a server so I'll say npm run dev which is basically uh, an honest server now if I open it go to the routes file it basically has an upload route where it will access the file and it will move it to the storage directory okay okay now that's done uh, we'll come here we'll update our URL to point to the right server uh, it needs to be HTTP localhost 3333 and upload okay so if I do a refresh, click on the file, yep, it does say success. And if we open our uh, storage uploads directory, yep, we do have the file uploaded out here. In the same way, we can upload other files like this particular one, and it does get uploaded. Uh, right now, the files are uploading really quick. Uh, that's the reason we cannot see the progress bar. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm basically gonna run my server behind ngrok proxy, uh, which will make sure everything is going via network and we can see the progress bar out here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say ngrok, yep, bind this particular thing. It will give us a URL. Yep, we have it. So uh, out here, we'll replace this particular thing to the actual ngrok URL, do a refresh. And I'll upload this file. You can see it's going to the server. Yep, that was still quick. Uh, let's try with this one. Yep, you can see it's slowly uploading to the server. So we do have a proper working progress bar out here. Yep, taking some time. Okay, and yeah, so uh, right now we have basically dealt with very bare bone API. Like we have been doing everything within the templates, but that's not the case. We click view clip actually comes up with a lot of custom events that we can listen to and we can do really exciting things with that for example um we don't want to show the list of files within the view clip template okay that's that's maybe the way your app is structured so what we can do is we can create view clip uh we can basically make use of view clip component just to upload files and we can show them anywhere exactly we want so for that, what we need to do is we need to listen for an event call on added file and we'll say file added and create a method out here. So I'll say method file added, which will basically get uh, the file instance. So I'll say this dot files dot push 
uh, the file and we need to have a data property out here called files okay uh, files that's an empty array and out here we can basically display our files which is uh, actually outside of the actual view clip component area so uh, I said div v4 file in files and we can basically display the file name come back here uh, there is some error yep uh, we need to have basically wrap everything inside a root element so come back here uh, all looks good uh, if you upload the file yep we do see the file out here out here as well and of course uh, in that case there is no need to implement this particular slot and you can show the files actually uh, like wherever you actually want to show the files now one remaining part of uh, the entire process is basically uh, deal with drag and drop kind of events so like so far we have just been clicking uh, this particular area uh, property or method let's get rid of this yep uh, I'm really sorry. So, uh, so far we have been basically clicking out here to upload files, but we can also drag and drop files out here. So, uh, if you go here, let's say click on this file and we drag, yep, it does get uploaded. But also we need some kind of a feedback so that we can tell the user that we are ready to accept this file. So, let's quickly add scope out here called props. Uh, bind a class called we bind class called dragging when the props have the dragging property okay and to upload our action we're gonna say uh, class dragging will basically change the background color to white and let's put some transition on it so upload our action say transition uh, background 300 ms eats yep do a refresh come back here now if you drag the file you do see the background color does get changed and if i drop it here yep it start uploading the file so you can do that now of course this is one way of doing it apart from that you can also listen for the events like uh, on drop enter and on drop leave and uh, yeah, you can you can basically read all that stuff within the documentation. And yeah, see you guys. Goodbye.